We're going to begin today with a story about a business specializing in providing personal safety and security. The company manufactures a unique product that will make your vehicle safer. How safe? Bulletproof safe. In international business and political circles, that's good news. Now, why didn't I think of that? This is what the finished product turns How much would you guess a fully loaded Jeep Cherokee like this would cost? Or how about this brand new Suburban? Both vehicles have been sold to satisfied customers at a cost of just over $100,000. Don't let the sticker shock throw you. They may not have leather seats, but they can stop a speeding bullet. And that makes them worth their weight in gold. We've had numerous occasions where um, people have had two cars side by side, one's a bulletproof, uh, bullet resistant vehicle, and the other's a normal vehicle, and they couldn't tell the difference even after inspecting very closely. So what makes the difference? Armor Max, an innovative bullet resistant material developed by International Armoring Corporation, and it's used on all the vehicles they modify. What we do is we take a normal passenger type of vehicle, we totally strip it down, and insert ballistic materials, uh, both OPEC and transparent materials, that allow the car to become a, a virtual fortress. And that has people around the globe coming to Ogden, Utah, where quality and innovation are job one. We basically have three goals when we take one of these vehicles. The first goal is, of course, that we want to armor the entire passenger compartment, the firewall, the windshield, the, all the glass areas, etc. The second is we want these vehicles to look as original as possible. We don't want these vehicles to stick out so people know that they're bulletproof. We want them to blend in. That's why as you, you look out on our shop, you don't see a lot of big long limousines and things like that. What we do is we build cars that blend into the country where they're going. The third goal which we have is that we don't want to decrease the performance any or as little as possible. And that sometimes becomes the challenge. That's the challenge of all armored car manufacturers, is that they're not tanks. We don't want them to drive like a tank. These cars are being driven by some of the wealthiest individuals in the world. They're used to fine things. They're used to nice things. And if they're driving around in a heavy, overweighted vehicle that feels like a tank that doesn't respond, then more likely than not, they're not going to use the vehicle. And thus, they won't be secure. But by using lightweight Armor Max, customers don't have to think twice. And they must like how the vehicles perform because the orders keep rolling in at an ever-increasing pace. Just after two years, international armoring has been successful beyond anything the company ever imagined. I had no idea that we would be, uh, we would be as fortunate as we have been. Our first year goal was just to build 24 vehicles, and we ended up building over 225. And I think that has a lot of that has to do with the quality of the product that we ended up producing. Okay, the most popular vehicle that the company modifies, the Jeep Cherokee. Next up on Utah Business, we'll talk about the partnership between business and education.